Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel, Dying to DIY. It's me, Camaro. First things first, shout out to Cricut for sponsoring today's video. I will be using my Cricut Explore Air 2 for the projects in this video. And these are the projects that I will be making for this video. I am going to be making some customized bridesmaid and bride robes, um, you know, for a bridal shower. You have the white one for the bride and then the two pink rose gold ones for the bridesmaids. So, so stunning, so beautiful. So if this is something you guys are interested in, stay tuned because we are about to get started right now now. So my first step is going to be taking the items that I'm going to be working with because I need to measure them so that way when I start working on my machine I know how big to make my cuts and such. So for these robes I'm going to be printing something, well, I'm going to be ironing something onto the back and then also ironing something onto the left shoulder. So these are the areas that I am measuring for. Once I have the measurements down and recorded, I'm going into my Cricut Design Space and opening a new project. I'm going to go up to the top right corner and into this area and I'm just going to make sure that it's on the Cricut Explore family because I do have a Cricut Joy, um, but I'm not going to be using that today. So I just want to make sure we're working you know, with the right machine. After that, I'm going into my little text box and I'm going to be changing the font to a text called Honest Darling. And this font is actually from defont.com. It's just a free font that you guys can use for um, certain projects. You know, I just really like the look of this one. And that is why I chose it. I thought it was, a, you know, a really pretty like bridal shower vibe wedding vibe and all that so I made a couple of text boxes um, one that says bride two that say bridesmaid you have mrs. Garcia and Jalissa and also Alexis for Jalissa I am um, taking off the J in the word and using a different font to replace that with just because I feel like this letter of the J fits better than the J that the original wording or the font you know came with so I just decided to do that to change it out I thought it looked a lot better so once I have my text boxes complete I'm just going in and making them the correct size from the measurements that I did in the beginning so once I have everything sized and ready to go I am just going to go over to the top right corner and hit make it and now it's just going to walk me through all the steps that I need to take in order to make these cuts so the little warning at the top is telling me that my um, my project is bigger than the original 12 inch mat so I need to use a 24 inch mat which is fine I have that so I just click ready to go and then I'm going to be changing the material to iron on vinyl and once I do that it brings me to this page where I have all my words you know laid out um, but you are able to turn them around just to maximize the material that you're using for your cuts you can fill in empty spots and all that you know you don't want to waste material and such so once I feel like I've maximized my material space I'm gonna go over and click mirror because I need to flip this image because it is an iron on material so we want the image on the back to be the iron on part so that's why we have to do it face down and here it's telling you make sure your material is face down shiny side down so it can make your cuts so once you flip it over that is the part that gets that is the part that gets ironed onto your project so I'm going to be using this gold glitter material love it it's super shiny and just so stunning and beautiful so now I'm loading it into my machine after I have put it on my mat and it just walks me through all of the steps so first it wants me to load it into the machine once it's you know registered that it's loaded it asks you to hit the little C Cricut button on there and that's when it starts making its cuts and it just goes from 0 to 100% it shows you like how much has already been cut so once it is done cutting it asks you to unload the material again you're just going to push the unload button and here we have our cuts ready to go so once that is done I'm cutting each of the words away from one another so that way I can just focus on one word at a time because it is a little bit more tedious um, this material kind of like I don't know it's hard to see and it just blended in you know way too much so I just wanted to work on one word at a time started weeding out everything and then I'm just removing the background away from the words 
I did most of them off camera for you um, just to save a little bit of time because it's just so monotonous and repetitious but here you can see um, this is the word bride and I already did bridesmaid so now it's just time to add them onto each of our projects so I just started laying out each of the robes and I'm just kind of eyeballing it at first you know where I want it to go and I'm using my little uh, measuring tool as well I do put it on to the robe and then I also put it on myself and then I have a mannequin that I use as well just because you know when you put it down it may look straight across but once it lays on the shoulder area it might be a little bit crooked so you just want to make sure that when it's on the person that it is straight across rather than being straight across on um, like you know the robe laying flat on the table so once I have the placement down I'm just taking my Cricut heat press and I'm gonna let it heat up and I'm just kind of being careful at first because I don't want it to ruin the material I just wanted to make sure that the material was gonna be okay well, once I knew the material was okay then I'm just going to let it set on to the iron-on material it has a little countdown button so it counts down from 30 seconds all the way to zero once it's done your project should be nice and adhered to your material I just let that cool down a little bit and then I start peeling it nice and slowly I just want to make sure that it's you know all of the letters are adhered to the robe before I pull it completely off because if it's not I'm just going to be taking the heat press and then just adding some more heat onto there so now I'm working on the back side of the robe again doing the same thing I'm just lining everything up onto the mannequin I also put it on myself and look into the mirror just to make sure everything is nice and straight once I have it where I want it then I'm just going to do the same thing again I'm taking my heat press and I'm just doing one side of the word at a time. So I'm doing 30 seconds for the left side, 30 seconds for the right side, and that was the perfect amount of time. Again, letting it cool a little bit and then just peeling off that top plastic part. And voila, that was all there was to these ropes. Yes, it was a little bit tedious to try to weed out everything and then just, you know, making sure everything was lined up does take a little bit of time, but this project in itself is just so you know quick and fairly easy to do um, and now I'm just going to be doing the white robe really really fast but basically obviously the same exact steps as I did with the first one and then I do the other um, rose gold robe off camera for you guys just to save a little bit of time because it's the same exact steps I just made sure everything was straight and lined and centered and all that good stuff take my heat press again and adhere that material to each of the robes and just look how stunning these are they turn out so good these look so classy so high-end they look like they were you know store-bought which I love just I love it see what you can do with your Cricut machine absolutely anything is possible with the Cricut machines I 100% recommend these machines you guys cannot go wrong the Cricut Joy the Maker the Explore Air the heat press I love all of them seriously though again just so stunning so elegant I love the really like petite lettering of the words on the front shoulder and then you have the words bridesmaids and then bride on the back of the robes nice and big and bold perfect just absolutely love it and I know my customers were super super happy with these robes this is just a great idea if you are you know doing all of your own bridal stuff you're trying to do it on a budget you know this is just the way to go for sure you can't go wrong I don't think you will be disappointed I know you will be over the moon in love so so happy and just so proud of how these turn out Again, thanks to Cricut for sponsoring this video. You guys are awesome, Cricut. I appreciate it so, so much. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked what you saw. If so, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys next time.